this video lecture I am going to discuss about how to run web application in Eclipse ID. So this is here Eclipse ID. Now if I create one new project. So here new then after go on the project. Then here if you write here dynamic web. So you cannot get to this option dynamic web and if I go on the perspective open perspective and here you can get this all those things but uh, here wave application kind of things are not available so this uh, what we need to do so let's uh, close that and uh, now you need to go on the exe file of uh, uh, Eclipse so double click on this exe file of Eclipse so we need to do the modification so it's opening eclipse installer by oomph so here i install this software eclipse id for java developer so but if you want to run here java web application so you need to select this option click there and after that you need to install this Eclipse ID Enterprise and Web Developers. So you need to install. So click on this install. And after that here you can see this is doing the installation. So it will take only few seconds, few minute time to complete the installation. E Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developers that installed successfully now we need to click on this launch button then after click on this launch and starting eclipse id 2021 now after that to here let's go on the file then after new and here project so here click on this project now if you select here dynamic web project so you can see this time dynamic web project it's uh, coming and after that uh, if you go on the perspective here you can see our uh, database debug and uh, debug java e default and uh, here wave you can see so that means after uh, after selecting a uh, job enterprise then you can get this list of things then after going to create one new project and here you can see dynamic wave application so you need to uh, select that option then after let's uh, say here new example and after that to uh, here click on this next then next and generate web xml then click on this finish so installing web module and after that to uh, here if i go on the perspective then after i select this option open now then after here you can see server so no servers are available click on click this link to create a server so click there then after here we need to go on the apache then you can get uh, this list of server so the recent is version 10 so select uh, this option then after here version 10 selected here you can see server name and click on this next and then after here you need to download and install click there and I accept then after click on this finish so you need to provide to there a uh, one folder so you can uh, select anyone but uh, if you want then you can give uh, so this is the location so this is on the deck or uh, document right click there then after new and creating the folder 
and uh, let's give here the name tomcat then or uh, this place or uh, select uh, this tomcat then after click on so now you can see this is or uh, the path tomcat installation directory and to uh, here you can see apache tomcat 10.013 so that to uh, or uh, download and install successfully after that click on this next then after here new example then after here click on this finish and now server or uh, that uh, stopped and republished so double click on this then after here so uh, we have uh, this port number so we need to modify the port number so here tomcat admin so this i am going to change 7 0 8 8 and uh, the next is here 8 1 double 0 okay after all uh, here uh, this so uh, that changed and port number that changed now the next is after changing the port number we need to create uh, one simple JSP or XML file so let's click on this new so first we need to go here on or uh, this new src and main and here you can see so let's uh, create uh, inside uh, uh, java so i'm going to create uh, one new uh, so this place you can create here xml file and uh, here css jsp file so let's uh, create here so HTML file so let's uh, give the name ABC next and then after click on this so this is the type of uh, HTML let's click on this finish now there I'm going to add one head tag h1 then after or uh, run web app in eclipse then after save that and uh, now we need to run this one so right click then after or uh, run as then after here select run on server so that i just install one server this uh, this one tomcat okay so now let's click on this next and here finish so allow access and here allow so now you can see this so uh, HTML code that display into the run web app in Eclipse in the browser on the windows then after here web browser so whatever you run then the uh, output should be display into the Chrome browser so then after I'm going to create the JSP file so here let's uh, select java then new so this time i'm going to select jsp file so let's uh, give the file name so giving test.jsp next and this jsp html now let's uh, click on this finish then after this is the title and here let's uh, use header so header then after hello world writing now after that uh, here go on the windows so this time I'm going to use uh, internal web browser so right click run as run on server so select this folder select this one then after next and finish so hello world this is display so internal browser this one so this is the way we can run web application in eclipse id so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you